My name is Ryan Lewis Cicero with the University of South Florida Civil and Environmental Engineering Department. Today we're out in the local community of East Tampa and we're evaluating a local community member's home for the use of green infrastructure. Uh, today we're uh, with the Tampa Vocational Institute and they are out here tasked with the job to interview uh, the homeowner and come up with different ideas for implementing green infrastructure practices. Some of the ideas they've come up with are to use rain gardens, uh, rain barrels uh, to install gutters and potentially put in um, pervious pavement. Uh, my name is Harry Roberts. Um, we are working on the rain garden and basically we learning better ways to give back to the world without destructing the world. So this is one of the ideas that we came, we're trying to execute it. See if we can get it going a little bigger than what it's going right now. Hopefully everybody will be able to do it. Purpose of the rain garden is so the water can go through this soil instead of being stuck. It would be pervious so it can drain through. And that's our purpose today. I like to work on stormwater projects like this one. We're putting some gutters in to this house to improve the stormwater runoff. And I'm just really excited that we're getting more of these low impact development technologies in the area. I, I, you saved my palm tree, I love that. <laughs> I like Probably that. Did it four years, right? Hey, we talk yeah, about it. Yeah, we're hey, do it? hey, what it says, if you wait, mm -hmm. some things will come to pass. You just got to be patient. Uh, when I started with the uh, bus tours of East Tampa, uh, which came about as a result of USF uh, coming together to, to become our partners um, more than um, eight years ago. And one of the things that um, I was sharing with the professors at the time is that how can you really really be our partner when you don't really know us and, and really get to feel us and and come in our neighborhood i know you're good as far as knowing your background and what you've seen in the media but it's really important to really come and see who we are and what we're about we're good people in east tampa but throughout all of this what i found is that with the university and the community coming together, we had to really learn to trust each other. Mm -hmm. And we, as a, as a resident, you know, we, you might be an expert about um, what the community must look like, but I can tell you many times I had to remind people, but you haven't lived here. And you really don't know what you're looking at sometimes. Now, with the um, WEAR group, I was fortunate to, to be a part of that too. Um, when we started, I can remember the very first one over at Young. Uh, when we shook hands and said, we want to work together, we were all standing on opposite sides. But uh, here we've had um, many good things to happen. The students, the parents have been educated about water and uh, the impact, how, how we can do other things with it. All these things were brought back to the community. Uh, we had uh, an opportunity when uh, we include the young people. And they came and had their uh, poster boards at the partnership meeting, and this is what I learned about water. And of course, hearing the children say this, you know, the parents were sitting in the audience, and they were very excited about hearing that. Uh, it has grown. Uh, just recently, I was able to be a part of uh, the new project that's going on for the summer for teachers, who are actually uh, doing research and they are being engaged at this point. Uh, it's almost like I think a three to five year project that they are going to stick with. And from what I heard, sitting at the table with the teachers, that they are excited and they bring back to the classroom all these new ideas that how they can make this whole idea of water, storm water, anything about the whole research real to the students and they bring that into that and I really enjoy seeing that this week, this summer. Uh, I think the students at Young have benefited through all of the real world problem solving and project based learning so they are actually been able to work with professionals and experts in the community to solve problems that are happening in the community such as the beautification of the pond across the street from our campus, water quality testing, and also with the rain garden um, implementation. Everybody's very impressed when they come on our campus and see what we've done with all the outdoor spaces. And I can recall sitting at, and I have to bring up the open cafe, that's where I do a lot of my thinking, and with some of the staff from USF, 
that we really uh, talked about how this could benefit students. Uh, they could get a trade. They could get a career. They could start their own business by learning about plants, learning how you take care of them, and, and have their own business right now, not 10 years from now. So, yes, it is a way that uh, we can improve uh, and expand and get employment. Um, actually consisted of four weeks. So the first week we had just a brief intro in the classroom about what green infrastructure is, um, how we can treat stormwater in the class, and then right after we came here uh, to Mrs. Best's house to talk to her about her landscaping, uh, what type of things, where, if she notices any flooding in her yard, what are areas that she would like to consider. But one thing about TDI, we serve programming for construction, customer service, and for Microsoft Office for individuals 18 and older. They're getting trained to get back to work. So these individuals can get a career, not just a job. So please pass this on. These guys, can we give them a hand? Because they work really, 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 really hard. My name is Mark E. Baker. Um, I was a student at the CDC program, uh, at the TBI construction program. Um, it was very educational for me, and um, because I, did, I learned a lot of things about uh, green construction and utilizing natural resources that I didn't know, and I'm 44 years old. Um, and my research has also looked at uh, plant selection. So we've looked at over the course of the last um, four years um, how to how do you identify what plants will actually survive and, and thrive in these systems. When there are pollutants that are coming from households that every citizen needs to do their share to try to reduce that. Mrs. Bess is now part of our research and our experiment as we actually try to figure out what maintenance costs are going to be like on a residential scale. Yeah, how can I get one installed in my yard?